Hello, people. Hi. Today is Tuesday here in Colorado, about 2.20 uh, p.m. in the day. Bright day, sunny day, cool day, but a nice day. Really nice day, considering. I know we're supposed to have snow coming in again um, thir Friday and Saturday, I think it is. And we're going to be in the 20-degree mark and look below again. The weather just fluctuating a lot. Uh, amazingly so. Um, we're just going to be having a lot of things going on with the weather. I was just looking at an article by uh, Weather Decoded. Uh, major cold blast is right here in the midst of us right now and a winter storm coming. Uh, and we're going to have more of it coming, as BP Earthwatch was saying all this week about the changes in our uh, planets and all the things going on, the solar stuff going on, everything's going on. I was looking at an article that I hadn't heard a long time from, um, uh, what's the lady up there that talk about Yellowstone all the time. Uh, I was looking at her article and I'm going to try to find that and post it down below. And she was saying that, uh, uh, where did I write that at down? Experts warn the San, he, the San Hedron, the San, uh, Andres, San Andres fault could unzip all at once, all at once. You know, I told you these big quakes, you think you, you think the 6.5 was a big quake? That was just the beginning of sorrows almost, people. We're going to have a massive big quake hit. And when that'll happen, we have no idea. But we are watching and praying, watching and praying that we can escape the things coming on the earth. And uh, also, I was just listening to... Uh, I got to finish listening to it. It's about an hour long. It's on uh, Dave Hodges' Common Sense Show. And he's talking about chaos in Colorado. The New World Order is making their move. The New World Order is making their move. So I will post all these links down below. Um, while yesterday I had a surprising experience come to me last night. I was on the Prophecy Radio with Rick Pavia, P-A-V-I-A, -A, his last name. I'm probably not pronouncing it right. But Rick, thank you so much for having me on your show last night. I really didn't expect that. So I just was kind of on the, uh, you know, it's almost like being so, uh, being, having a mighty soldier be ready at any time. And I was on his show and got to talk about aliens and all these things coming and all the deceptions going to be coming uh, a little bit on uh, all the prophecy things that's around us right now. I will post that link down below if any of you are interested in hearing that. But I'm not really uh, that uh, polished on there, nothing like that. I'm not polished on here either. So I just jump and do what the Holy Spirit lead me to do. And uh, that was really an opportunity to talk about the gospel and 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 say some words to the people out there that they should be giving their life to Jesus Christ, getting ready for all these things coming on the earth, because we don't know when our last day is. We need to be giving our life to Jesus Christ. That is the most important message you can ever hear me say is to give your life to him. Uh, I've been hearing all kind of uh, testimonies from people. I was so glad to talk to you, Rachel, last night. Uh, so glad to talk to you from Texas and and hear your testimonies of the miracle money. And I've been hearing miracle money testimony from Tammy in Colorado. And Patricia just called me this morning. I left a message on my cell phone about uh, she had a dream about Christ coming through the clouds. And uh, wow, I'm telling you, people, we know that uh, we are come. He's coming very soon, very, very soon. And um, as Tammy had uh, had a dream also that he was coming. Uh, and she had an amazing testimony how he came and how Jesus was coming. He was walking on the beach and had the pebbles line up and and then he uh she asked him to turn the pebbles only turn the pebbles over and the pebbles said, Tell the people I'm coming very soon. So you know, he is coming very soon and you should be ready, getting ready for his appearance because Satan is gonna have his uh counterfeit and you need to know the difference, people. We need to know the difference. Like we was talking on Rick's show last night, 
about the aliens trying to land. Uh, they can land in a, in a spaceship. Uh, the Nephilim uh, spirits and giants can come out and walk among the earth, and you'll be thinking that they are here to help us, and they are not our helpers, okay? They are demons. They are demons, people. So we need to be putting the God over us, putting the blood of the Lamb over us every day, every night, praying every day, every night, not once a week, not once a year, not on holidays, not when you feel like it, not when you need a dollar, not when you need to pay a bill. You know, we need to just pray and have a relationship with Yeshua daily, daily, die daily, put your sins before him daily, nightly, okay? Because you never know if you're going to wake up the next day. You need to just be consistently doing these things as I was talking to Rachel last night about. And also... We have here uh, an ex-Buddhist girl. I'm going to post that down below, giving her testimony of coming to Jesus. Like I'm always saying on my channel every day, Hinduism, Buddhism, Catholicism, uh, Islam, uh, Muhammad, uh, all these things, uh, witchcraft and Kabbalah and you know astrology and New Age, all these things, not going to save you. You have to give your life to Yeshua HaMashiach. And I don't even care if you say you're an Israelite. You can say you're a Hebrew. You can say whatever. You're a Jew, Greek, whatever. You all, we all have to come to the, to the, uh, to the cross. We have all have to come to the cross and give our life to Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, the only one who can save us. Don't get dis disturbed by that. Don't get deceived by that. I hear all these mockers all the time. Oh, well, Jesus is just a prophet. Oh, we don't need to hear him. He's just a prophet. Well, you know what? He's not just a prophet. He's my great Elohim. He's our savior who came into all the world to save the world from their sins. Okay. So you need to understand. I'm so happy that the Buddhist girl sharing her testimony. So I'm going to put that down below. And today my message is going to come from the Holy Bible. Uh, save me from the reproach of him. Save me from the reproach of him. Because all these things Satan is trying to get lined up to deceive you, to have you put your, your uh, uh, what did they say, throw your towel out and just say, oh, I'm through with God. I'm done with God. I'm through. I'm not going to have nothing to do with him. Well, you know, you don't want to do that, people. You want to hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I heard from my brother in... uh. Nigeria today, he was just showing me the, the bad pictures, awful pictures. He said God had told him he was getting ready to go to this big uh, uh, tent meeting. You know, they was having a tent meeting over there in his hometown out about, out a bit. And he was getting ready to go. And he said, all of a sudden, he said, Marner, I didn't have the money to go, so I didn't go. And I'm so praising God today that I didn't go because 60 people was killed instantly, slaughtered, okay? The ISIS people are going around just sla slaughtering Christians everywhere in Africa, different parts of Africa. You never know what day you're going to wake up and they can attack you. And I'm saying it's happening everywhere, people. So we need to be ready, be ready, be ready, and give our life to Yeshua. He can, he can tell us when to go, when not to go. Psalms 91, Psalm 121 is my favorite psalm of all psalms. I, I sing it a lot. I love it so much. And I'm telling you, we need to be just putting that, making sure you have permission, have permission before you do anything now, making sure Yeshua is the one that give you counsel. Because you know, you can walk right into your death trap if you don't listen to his Holy Spirit guiding you, okay? Guiding you. So thank you for sharing that with me, uh, brother, son, brother, Udar over in Nigeria. He's one of our brothers that give Bibles out all over Africa. He's working with Bob Barbara Ministries as well. And so we need to be just really praising God and thanking him for every day we have life to breathe and not just sitting on the sidelines, but being a disciple for him, being a disciple for him. The workman, <clears throat> the harvest is ripe. The harvest is ripe but the workers are few and he need workers in his vineyard right now. Workers in his vineyard doing what we can while we can. We're in the end at the end. So let's get our Bibles now and go to, uh, Psalms 57 is what I was given. And I got some other scriptures I'm going to share with you today as well. Uh, Psalm 57, Psalm 57, amazing Psalm. Okay. That the Lord gave me this morning. 
And I'm going to share it with you because it's such a powerful, powerful, powerful uh, psalm. Okay. So we go on here now, uh, Psalm 57. And it says, be merciful unto me. Be merciful unto me, O God. Be merciful unto me, for my soul trusteth in thee. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. I would cry unto God most high, unto God that performeth all things for me. He shall send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that will swallow me up. The reproach of him that will swallow me up, Shalah. The devil is trying to kill, steal, and destroy. He want to destroy you people. He want to destroy me. He want to destroy all of God's people, all of God's sheep, all of God's disciples. He want to destroy us, his watchmen. And you know, but we have to put the shield of salvation on us every day, put the armor on every day, walking with the full armor. And Yeshua say he would protect us. He will be with us. He will never leave us or forsake us. He's such an awesome God, such an awesome God. So down here, further reading, it says here, God shall send forth his mercy and his truth, his mercy and his truth. Verse four, my soul is among lions and I lie even among them that are set on fire. Even the sons of men whose teeth are spears and arrows and their tongue, a sharp sword. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. Hallelujah. They have prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They have digged a pit before me into the midst there whereof they are fallen themselves. They are fallen themselves. That's right. Every time the devil trying to work on us and destroy us, you wait till his day come. His day of reckoning is getting so close and Yeshua is going to deal with him, people. He's going to deal with him. And so it says here, they have prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They have digged a pit before me and into the midst whereof they are fallen themselves, fallen themselves. They're going to, every time the enemy try to come against you, every time people try to come against you, Yeshua would take care of it. But Yeshua will make sure he takes care of his own. He will, people. You have to trust him. You have to trust him. Verse seven, my heart is fixed, O God. My heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Awake up my glory. Awake somber tree and hop. I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great unto the heavens and thy truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's why I say if the devil try to kill us and if he die, if we get killed like those people over there slaughtered in Nigeria and you know, if they died in Yeshua, they will rise again. They will rise again. They will meet him on the other side. He will awaken us. This trumpet will sound and waken them later people. That's why I say we have no fear. We don't have to fear death. We don't have to fear death. If we give our life to Yeshua, we don't have to fear death people. So I want you to go here to second Chronicles. 614, 2 Chronicles 614. Oh, is that Corinthians? I'm sorry, Corinthians, Corinthians, 2 Corinthians. I think I have it here. I marked it here. Uh, 2 Corinthians 614 to 18. And we're going to read it right now. So important. I might have read it a lot of other times on my channel. I don't know, but you sure want me to share it with you again. 2 Corinthians 6, 14 to 18. It says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have dark? And what communion have light with darkness? And what concord has Christ with Baal? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God, as God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. 
Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing. And I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and you shall see, and you shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. And the only father you need is Yeshua HaMashiach. You don't need a pope. You don't need a priest. He's the only father. He said, call no man father because I am the only father. Call no man rabbi because I am the only teacher. And I'm saying he is the only teacher. He's the only one. He's the one who want to teach you people. He's the one who want to be in a relationship with you where he can show you all things, all things. Isaiah 520. Let's go there. Isaiah 520. Isaiah 520. So he don't want us dealing with light darkness. He wants to come out and be in the light. And if you hang around people, like I was telling the young people, if you hang around people that ain't going to do you any good and going to get you in trouble, you don't need to be around them, do you? You don't need to be around them people. So it says here in Isaiah 520, Isaiah 5.20, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. We don't need it. We don't need to be into these things, okay? We need to come out and be separate as he is saying here in both of these texts. 1 John 1.5, let's go to 1 John 1.5, okay? 1 John 1.5. 1 John 1.5, and I'm going to read on down here to verse uh, 7, 8, well, 8, oh, wait, 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 and in him is no darkness at all, at all. Did you hear what I said? At all. I don't want to hear nobody telling me on my channel, oh, well, he's just a prophet. Oh, I don't want to believe in God. Oh, it's just a false belief. Oh, well, you know, you need to give your life to him and see what he can do for you. It said, taste and see that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. So it says here in verse six, if we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, we lie and do not, do not the truth. We don't have the truth. If we say we, we uh, walk in darkness, we lie, it says. Verse seven, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin, cleanses up from all sin. Oh yes, he will clean you up. He will not, he didn't come here to judge you. He came here to save you. So you need to be giving your life to him. Talk to him about whatever your problem is. It doesn't matter what it is. It don't matter if you was a murderer. It doesn't matter if you was a whole monger. It doesn't matter if you were a fornicator. It doesn't matter if you are uh, just stuck in a rut and you think you're all right, but you're not all right because you got to have your blood cleansed by his blood. You got to have the DNA changed. I told you when I was 16, I came to Christ. I thought I was a pretty good girl, a pretty good kid. And then this guy came on the radio and he said, you know, you got to give your life to him. You got to be born again of the spirit and of the water. So I'm telling you, you have to be born again. You can't be just coming into this world through your mother's wound and think you're okay because you're not okay. Through Adam's sin, we have to be cleaned up and Yeshua have to give us his DNA and his Holy Spirit. So that's why I say we have to be cleansed from all sin, like it's saying here. And number eight here says, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Just like I just said, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us for our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. So that's what that says there. First John uh, 1, 5 through 10. You need to go look at it again, maybe. 
But I'm telling you people, this is where we're at. We need to be giving our life to Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, because time is running out. Time is running out. Okay. So um, I'm going to leave that with you today. As we already know, I'm always showing uh, Charles Whelan's, uh, you know, uh, material here from the seminar he did this year about the new world order. Will it be in 2016? We know a crisis is on the way. Lots of crises are coming. And then we're going to have a one world, the new world order is almost rat target in here, but we're going to have a one world order. And then we're going to have a mock enforced. And so you do not want to be giving yourself to Satan. You want to give yourself to Yeshua HaMashiach. So I know we are at the end, the end, at the end. So uh, if you still haven't received the books, uh, The Perfect Storm is Coming, uh, What's Behind the New World Order, you can go to www.theperfectstormiscoming.org and you can upload it there free of charge uh, on Charles Whelan's site. Uh, you can also write me and say, Marner, I would like to have a copy of that hard copy, uh, you know, for people who really just want to have, have a hard copy. Uh, so uh, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, again, people, I'm just going to post these links all down below. I'm going to probably put some more material down below. Uh, I will try to put this sermon down below by Sundar that I think you should listen to. And um, also, I will put these other things down below that I talked about already. Um, and I'm going to go away and let you have a, the rest of your day. And Father, I ask that you come be with the people watching today. I ask that you just come into their homes, Father. I ask that you send holy angels to be in the midst of them, Father. Because we know we are in the end at the end. And a lot of people are sitting on the benches and they're sitting on the sidelines watching, Father, and looking and spectating. But they haven't given their life to you. And they need to give their life to you, Father, before it's too late. I ask that you touch their hearts, Father, their minds, their souls, Father. Lead them to the cross. Help them where they won't be lost, Father. I just bind Satan and all as evil angels below beyond beneath mentioned and unmentioned known and unknown i bind all evil spirits on assignment against this video and the people watching father i ask that you supply all of their needs according to your riches and glory and yeshua hamashiach whether this be physical spiritually mentally don't matter father just help them father because you say that you are to we are to call on your name father and you will answer us father so we just ask that you help them father to trust you father as we know that the the just the just shall live by faith, and we are here to walk supernaturally, Father. Supernaturally, not looking at what it tastes like, feel like, look like, not looking at the bills, not looking at the problems, not looking at all these things. This trust in your word to know your word is truth, Father. And whatever your word says, it is. It is what it is, Father. And we thank you for your word, your holy word, Father, your prophets of old, your your son Yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, who made the sacrifice so we can have eternal life. And we just thank you for all of it. And we ask all these blessings in the mighty name of Yeshua. And we ask that you touch every name in my prayer box, every name on a piece of paper. I lift them up to you today again, Father. I ask that you come into their home, supply all of their needs, Father. Give them strength and energy and wisdom, Father, to choose you. Choose you the way, because you are the way to eternal life. And we ask it all in your mighty name. Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. So people, I'll come again with another video. Uh, you have a wonderful and blessed day. Look at all the links I post below. And just remember to keep prayers before you. If you need the spiritual warfare prayers, just write me, Marner. I need the spiritual warfare prayers uh, at marner.campbell at gmail.com. And I will be glad to send it out to you, okay? So you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on another video. Shalom, shalom. Bye-bye.